Ready for some fun? Here it comes. Everyone stand up and let's worship. tomorrow but now it's time for me to go to bed in my awesome tent so I think I probably should read my Bible first and we're gonna be reading a story about a man named Joseph oh my gosh did you hear that what is that noise <gasps> Oh my goodness. I've been camping before, but I've never been camping all by myself. Oh, it's gonna be okay though. I think it's gonna be okay. Have you ever been alone and afraid? Man, I'm starting to get a little bit afraid right now. I think what I need to do is pray because I know that even when I feel alone, that God is still with me. And we're gonna learn more about that through the story of Joseph. Hi boys and girls, I have my Bible and I can't wait to share today's Bible story with you. This month we're learning about trust and we learn through the story of Joseph that God wants us to trust even when we feel alone because he is always with us. So let's go ahead and read in Genesis 37, the beginning of Joseph's story. Joseph was one of Jacob's 12 sons. Jacob loved him more than all the other sons. Jacob made Joseph a colorful robe and he gave it to him. And his brothers were jealous. They were so mad because they didn't know why was Joseph getting this colorful coat. 
And then something you should know about Joseph is he had a lot of dreams. One of Joseph's dreams was about 12 bundles of grain and 11 of those bundles of grain were bowing down to the one. And Joseph told his brothers, that was them, bowing down to him. And his brothers got even more mad. So now Joseph's, Jacob's favorite, and they were all gonna bow down to him. They were like, no way. So one day, Jacob had a conversation with Joseph and told Joseph, Joseph, you need to stop telling your brothers about those dreams. They don't sound really good. And so Joseph's like, but they're my dreams and I wanna share them. But Jacob's like, you know what, Joseph? Maybe you should go and check on your brothers. Go and check on them and come back and give me a report on how they're doing. So off Joseph went. And guess what happened? The brothers saw him coming from far off and they're like, this is our chance. We can take Joseph out. And so they decided, they saw a well and they decided they were gonna put Joseph in the well and they were gonna leave him there yeah they were like wanting to get rid of him forever oh my goodness so then they thought man if we put him there maybe somebody's gonna come by and pull him out and save him and we really don't want him to go back and tell dad about what we did so what happened was they pulled him out and they saw some traitors coming down. So they decided they were gonna take their brother Joseph and they were gonna sell him and they did. And they never saw Joseph again. They told Joseph's dad, Jacob, that something had happened to Joseph and they brought back his colorful coat. You remember the colorful coat that Jacob had gave him? Yeah, they brought it back and they put blood on it. And they said, he must've got eaten by an animal. Oh my goodness. Next week, I'm gonna tell you more about Joseph's story and how even though he was alone, he trusted God would always be with him. Okay, boys and girls, I'm all snuggled up and tucked away in my tent and the sounds have gone away for a little bit, but they may come back. But you know what I did? I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And that's super cool because in our Bible story, do you know that's what Joseph did too? He prayed and he prayed and he prayed. God wants us to remember that we should pray when we feel alone. So I want you to practice that. So I want you to close your eyes and bow your heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this Bible story where we get to learn about Joseph and what he did when he was alone. Help us to remember to trust you when we feel alone because we can know that you are with us no matter what. In Jesus name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, I can't wait to hang out with you next week and tell you about more of my camping adventures. And I heard I might be making some s'mores. Yay!